All right, in part two of our basic Arduino tutorial, we are going to be talking about the IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. That is the software that you use to control the Arduino. And this is the IDE. This is version 1.6.11. This is the latest version. And you see up here you have your menu. It has five different items. File, Edit, Sketch, tools and the help menu and the help menu is excellent if you don't have any programming experience because you can come down here to reference and what's going to do is it's going to launch a web browser that will bring up all of the commands for the Arduino IDE and then you can just click on one and it will tell you how to use it including the proper syntax Now, the Arduino IDE is very similar to programming in the C language in that it is an object-oriented programming. That means it differs from older programming languages like BASIC, where you would use numbers and the program would run in order. While this kind of runs in order, it mostly runs in sections or objects, and then you just line up the objects in the order you want them to occur. Now. Your Arduino program, or as it's called, a sketch, has to have two main sections. The first is the setup section, and that will happen only one time at the beginning of every program. And then it will have the loop section, which runs over and over and over. Now, we're not going to get into any of the programming today. We're just talking about the IDE itself and how to use it. But if you want to look at some example programs, you can come over here to File, Examples, and then just pick one like, for instance, the first one everybody wants to do is Blink, which blinks an LED. And then you can see the code for it here. Here is the setup, what happens once. And we'll talk about this later. This is just telling the pin to be output and the loop function that happens over and over again. Now we went over the reference. Here in tools is where you'll find the type of board you have, what port it's on, and you can get some info about it. Now if you remember in part one we talked about the ISP headers that you can also use to program your Arduino and you do that through here in the programmer part. Now your sketch here, you have your verify and compile, upload, upload using programmer, export, sketch folder, all this stuff. So once you've written your sketch, you can click this button to compile it, which means this IDE will break it into machine code that the Arduino can read, and then it will upload it. But it's always a good idea just to check it. So you can come over here and click this check mark. And you see down here where it says it's compiling the sketch. Well, I guess you can't see that. All right. It's compiling the sketch. And then if there's a problem, it will show it to you. But everything looks fine. One of the really nice things about the IDE is you'll notice how things, some things are different color. Like for instance, functions are blue, constants are blue, commands are this reddish orange, everything else is black, and then you see this gray, and those are comments. Anywhere you see this double slash, what follows it is a comment. It does nothing for the program, it just helps the programmer. Now the slash star that you see up here is simply a multi-line comment. So this is how we get the Arduino program. This is our connection between it and the computer. It's pretty simple. And in our next part, we're going to look at doing this blink sketch. And we're going to put everything together.